guys. I got a new switch here for you. Got this for my mother and father-in-law and my mom and dad. They have one too shipped to Texas where I'll be going for Christmas to hang out with them and upgrading their network, which I'll be doing a video on. So let's rock it out. Today I got the Flex Mini. This is a five port gigabit switch. It can be powered by PoE, but it also includes um, the uh, power plug, so you can plug it in through USB-C, of course. It is just, it's just awesome. It takes up max 2.5 watts max, and um, we're gonna unbox this thing and rock and roll, and I'll show you this, guys. And then after that, I'm gonna take you straight in after the unboxing, and we're gonna show you what it looks like in the setup from the Unify. Not how to set it up, it's easy, adopt it. But we're gonna see what features it has once you adopt it. So, rock and roll, guys. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. Let's open this up. Let's get into it. Flex HD. Oh, that's right. Da -da -da. I think I've known about a lot of Ubiquity stuff. All I gotta do is open up the little tab here. And all right, let's see how this looks like inside. Oh, we gotta pull out here too. Okay, it comes in this way. First one of these unboxing. Ah, open up. There we go. Take out the flex menu first. Oh. Oh wow, I like that feeling. That is cool, cool, cool. So we got the PoE power in that you can power the switch by PoE. Uh, looks like we have an indicator light right here, the other ports, but obviously any of these ports can be an uplink back to the router and everything, but if you want to just power this, then you have to use this port and uplink it from this if you're going to power it through PoE. Uh, as, let's see here, we got obviously down, not working, 10, 100, and then green is, you know, a gig, so awesome, awesome, possum. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So this must light must be for the um, the PoE symbol because it looks like it doesn't have the PoE link the other switches do. It just has the connection link and the PoE can be on the side. So that's why they probably have it right here. Or power button. Either way, it's going to be power probably. I'm guarantee you it's power. But on the bottom, we have the USB-C rubber on the bottom. Nice grip. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, got the manual stuck there. Just the manual. What else did we get? Um, okay, here's the plug. That's it. That's it in the box. Let's pull this out. And there it is. Ooh, it would have been cool if this is a, a flip way because it would save more space because now if I plug it in somewhere... I'm gonna have this much far sticking out if it's behind a wall or, but you know what, it's still nice too. You can always find different mini two SBC, you can find another adapter if you want to, as long as it has the same voltage and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, plugs right in. Let's see how the insertion is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice insertion. All right guys, this one more time is awesome flex mini five port little switch all right guys let's go to the interface on the web all right guys we're here in the interface on the father-in-law's um remote in so i wanted to show you guys that it works great the flex mini it was the easiest pz to set up you can't SSH into it, but if you look at uh, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks, he will show you a trick to get the Flex Mini to be over to a cloud controller. Because some people don't like to use the Unify router or they like to use something different, but they, yet they want to use the Unify gear. So they use a cloud controller managed by somebody else or stored that they can, or stored at their house too, because you can do it that way too remotely and you can uh, update your Unify stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a good switch. Uh, you can do VLANs on it, so you can go down and you can select the port and you can go to uh, all networks or certain networks that you want it to, that you want that uh, device to go to, so that works, works great. Inside shows the memory usage, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think it has CPU because it doesn't show it, otherwise it's not being utilized at all. Um, 
Uh, you can turn the LEDs off, just like the numeral, static IP address, course, set up a static IP address. They have a Pi hole, so I set it to their Pi hole. I know you don't have to, you just set the network, or the, uh, the network to it, of which VLAN you're using, but I just did it anyway, it's just to have it. Um, a management VLANs, yeah, you can do management VLAN services. Manage local, restart, you know, all that stuff, trigger provisioning and stuff like that. Um, they have an uh, overview, you know, the uptime and stuff like that, and days, how many days have been running. This one, I went to their house and I was doing something else, so I turned it off. It's more than seven days, but that's just what it says here, but it's obviously been a lot more. Um, download links, you can see where it's coming, where, where things are going to, and this has the UAP light connected to it. Uh, one gig connection, one gig connection, no problem. For their uh, the, my mother-in-law's sewing room, so it works great. Um, then the NVIDIA Shield is connected to the other one too. So the NVIDIA Shield that they have in their living room is connected to it too. That's wired up to it. So yeah, it works great. Um, but yeah, it's basically the router. I mean, you can either go ports by selecting the ports up here. You can just click it. You can adjust the port there. Just like on any other Unify controller that they have the same way. And then, uh, or you can just go to ports themselves and select. And you can do disable the ports too. They do have disable too. So if you don't want anybody plugging into it, you just can't lock it to your MAC address. You can't do that, but you can disable it and stuff like that. That's the best it has. Layer 2 switch, but hey, it works. It's reliable, no problems whatsoever. So hey, heck, if you're thinking about getting it, I would say yes. But you know that it's, you know, know what you're getting. I mean, it's not going to do the amazing stuff. It's going to work great for what you're doing if you use it for the right application. But this isn't for like, oh, for, I mean, I would, for a business, maybe for under a desk for a couple computers there. But if you're in the security and you want to lock it to the MAC address to the computer in case somebody unplugs it and plugs their own thing in, uh, maybe it's not a good thing. But for home use, I would say, heck yeah, let's do it. But yeah, hope you guys like these videos. Please subscribe. It's easy. Just hit that uh, bell notification too. And I will send you all the links to my new videos when they come up. They'll go right into your phone, right into your computer, right into your tablet, whatever you're using. But hey. The most important thing is that you guys and your families are having a rock and rolling time, enjoying life, safe, happy, and you know, sharing the love in this world. So peace out, have a rock and rolling day.